Hi, I'm Sasha. I'm from Northern Ireland. I'm the Belfast County Youth Lead and I'm also a Scout Leader for 7th Belfast Scouts. My idea for a U-shaped programme is for the plan section. You can do this from squirrels all the way up to explorers. They just might need different levels of help um, depending on their ability. So there's three levels sort of to this section. Um, the first is planning their ideal night. So whether they meet on a Monday night in the hall or Thursday in a church, whatever. It's planning what they want to do in that time. So they need to be realistic of how long have they got. If they've only got an hour or two hours, you know, they can't go to the aquarium and a swimming pool and play mini golf. Had a few of those. So just need to maybe rein them in about, yes, have, have fun ideas, but be realistic in what you can actually manage. So do they want to do games, craft? Maybe they want to do some cooking or if there's a particular badge that they'd like to get working on, get them thinking of those ideas and between each section, um, get the smaller groups that you've sectioned them off in to feed in their ideas so they can learn off one another then going into the next next level of it. Second thing then is planning their ideal sort of day trip. So they can be a bit crazier with the ideas here. Do they then want to go to the planetarium? Do they want to do rafting? Or is there somewhere that they'd like to go, um, like a landmark or something? Get them thinking about that, about how they're getting there. Are there going to be other costs involved? Is that achievable? Do they need extra parent helpers? How many of them might be keen to go? That sort of thing. The last section, section three of this then, is planning their ideal camp. So they're having to think a lot harder here. If we can get them to plan a menu for this as well, that gets them thinking a lot more. So plan, say, Friday, dinner, Saturday, breakfast, lunch, dinner, Sunday, breakfast and lunch. So they're having to think a lot more here. Are they cooking stuff on a fire? Or do they have access to a kitchen if they're staying inside? Do they want to do it on their canvas? Maybe they want to hammock it out. Get them planning those sorts of things. Is there anyone in their group with dietary requirements that they need to be thinking of or conscious about when they're planning their, their menu? Do they want to be cooking every single meal? Probably not. So maybe encourage them to think when might it be helpful to bring sandwiches if they're going off to a uh, water activity or something they can just grab and go kind of thing. Then what do they want to do in their program? Get them to plan what they want to do. Are there badges they want to do? Uh, are there games they want to try? Do they want to camp with another group? Is there a campsite they might know that they would like to stay there? So it's just getting them to think about the nuances and all that goes into actually planning a scout program as it's not easy. But this is really helpful for them and you can pinch ideas off them as, as leaders um, to then get their input of what they want to see. It's just a sneaky way really of getting their, their input and going, well, I'll nab that idea. So if you get them to write this down on a poster board or something, as I say, get them to feed back to each other between each of these, and then they can maybe come to a general consensus of, right, some of these are actually really achievable. So we'll try and implement X, Y, Z, and we'll have a review next term, and we'll try and do the other X, Y, Z. Um, and in regard to camps and stuff that they can actually come to fruition, ideally. I hope that's helpful and hope I didn't talk too fast, but I'm Northern Ireland, so it's a Marina. Um, but yes, I hope that was helpful and good luck with your squatting.